I think it's unacceptable that, that this discrimination goes on. Nobody should ever have to compromise what they believe in and what they hold close to to get ahead in life. For more education in schools on bereavement and proper signposting to relevant organisations which can help, she's worried there may be more parents who are suffering in silence. difficulties which I've spoken about recently which was uh, one of the main ones was the fact that I was a visibly uh, Muslim woman um, I would be told that look you've got all the skills and um, you know you've got everything to go perhaps go into broadcasting but would you ever consider removing your uh, hijab and removing the headscarf and, which I, I was you know totally shocked about because if you've got all the skills and the ability to do a job what why should you have to compromise something so important such as your faith and I remember having, there was a Sikh colleague uh, of, uh, who I was uh, working with who had confined me as well that he was asked to remove his turban. I think it's unacceptable that, that this discrimination goes on. Nobody should ever have to compromise what they believe in and what they hold close to to get ahead in life. I was still held back and still felt that I was under a glass ceiling, that I didn't know how to progress because when it came to networking with those in senior positions, I was never given a chance to get past that glass ceiling, so to speak. People are facing this discrimination. They call it a hidden discrimination now within the media that many people are afraid to speak out because they feel they'll be reprimanded or they'll, it will somehow jeopardise all the work they've done to get to a certain place. I didn't actually realise the significance of it until afterwards because um, I, I, as a freelancer, you know, I pitch stories all the time and then they, I guess I was very surprised when they said, oh yes, you know, you can come on and, um, and for once, you know, I could actually present the report that I've done the hard work for, that I've given the story to. So it was a great moment, even that itself, to think at least I could do that, you know, because normally what would happen is I pitch a story and, and somebody would say, oh, well, we'll take your story, we'll take your contacts and everything, but you can't have anything to do with it. We'll be, we'll be another reporter doing such and such. And it, it was really disheartening sometimes. So it was great that STV were completely different and they were really supportive. Once the report was done and it aired, it was like a defining moment. I mean, my family were really happy to finally see that, um, that I finally achieved this, what I've been working for for so long, you know, to, to do. And part of it was also to do with my, my faith because I, I stood strong, you know, I could have had the opportunity to have done this before, to be honest, but with the condition that I would have had to remove my hijab and change the way I looked. And I stood strong and I thought, no, I'm gonna stick by my faith and nothing's gonna, and I, and I wanted to show as well people, not only from the Muslim faith, from other faiths who may be struggling that, you know, something so close to your heart that you're wearing something perhaps for God or for your religion, you don't have to compromise to get ahead. You can still retain that and you shouldn't have to. It's discrimination. It's not a big win for me type of thing. I, I think of other people and I just want everybody in the media industry to have the same equal opportunities. <laughs>